Hi, everybody. Welcome to the premiere episode of Play to Find Out the Perimeter. Yay! We're all here. We're all excited. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, tonight is our first episode. Uh, we did, like, character creation and, like, world generation and all the building stuff um, a couple weeks ago off stream. Uh, and then we got our stuff all built and put together. And now we're finally here. We're finally ready to play. A um, couple of housekeeping things before we start. And before we introduce our cast and our players and everybody. Um, I wanted to point out the freaking amazing overlays we got done. Uh, because they're fantastic. And I love them. Uh, I got like the final stuff this morning. Sent like, hey, I've been working on this for a while. What do you think? And I saw it and I was like, oh, what is this? I didn't, I didn't know it was going to be this good. What is this? Holy crap. Um, but yeah, yeah, they are done by uh, Metamancer, who is another Twitch streamer. She does creative stuff. Uh, she does games. She does everything. She's super awesome. She's super cool. She's making this and she's making uh, some character art for us. Uh, the character art was a little, those. A bunch more goes into that because they're characters and they're weird and complex. Um, so that should be ready. Uh, she'll be getting. She'll be finishing. She's finishing that up. Uh, the overlays we want to get done for today, so we could actually have the show. But um, uh, yeah, go. Let's see, I want to make sure I have the right link. Uh, so copy right loading. Here we go. There we go. I'll put a uh, link to her channel in chat. Go check her out because uh, she's awesome and she made these amazing looking overlays. Mm -hmm. uh, second, uh, today is Roll20Con. So we're kind of streaming alongside Roll20Con, so that's cool. Uh, I'll put, I have a little command thing for that as well. Um, basically, Roll20Con is like a big celebration of Roll20's community and like the stuff that they do, which is give people online and a chance to play role playing games with each other. Uh, like us, because we don't live with each other or near each other, so we can play role-playing games thanks to Roll20. So um, go check that out. It's in support of CyberSmile, which is a non-profit. Basically, it's uh, against cyberbullying uh, because cyberbullying sucks, and it's aiming to like help victims of it, kind of spread awareness of it, because um, it can be like a hidden thing, and they want to help spread that around. So if you go donate, you get some assets in Roll20, uh, like even you can like donate like a couple bucks and you get a bunch of free assets in your that you can use in your games. Uh, but yeah, if you want to support cool. a cool charity, go check that out. Cool, yeah. Yeah. So now I think uh, let's talk to our cast and see who we'll be playing with and uh, how awesome they are because they're all pretty cool. <laughs> uh, Mildly cool, but <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Uh, we'll kind of go in a square. So uh, we're gonna start with Fidget Cetera. Allie, uh, hello. Tell us about yourself, uh, what you do, who you are, what's going on. Hi, I'm Allie, Alice, Fidget Cetera, whoever you want to call me. Um, I make squares on the internet uh, and also call myself a plant witch usually. I'm not wearing the witch hat right now, which I totally forgot about. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I usually am on Twitter complaining about things or I'm on Mastodon complaining about things and I won't explain Mastodon because it's a complex mess um but yeah uh otherwise just gonna be going to school soon and, and figuring all that shit out so yeah awesome cool forgot to ask if we could swear but <laughs> oh yeah of course swear you want <laughs> serving shadows we're gonna be we're, we're, we're gonna be showing gritty city I stuff say, I, yeah yeah, <laughs> we're, maybe we're the wrong game. You we're can't say in a bunch. In <laughs> awesome, cool, thanks. Uh, we'll move on down uh, to Leah. Hello, uh, tell us who you are, what you do, what's going on, how you been? Ah, uh, I'm doing well. Uh, my name is Leah, also known as Access Cloud. Um, I do nothing, pretty much. <laughs> uh, I do things, just generally not on the internet. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I make art. I um, am going to school for uh, graphic design. Cool. Well, not graphic design, interactive game design. Oh, okay, cool. Something different. And cool. other than working and going to school and stressing over nothing, uh, that's about it. <laughs> awesome. And uh, next, uh, Dylan, figure four. Hello. Tell us about yourself. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, I'm, I am a human person. I'm doing well. Um, 
Yeah, I similarly do things not on the internet mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Cool. Um, and uh, last but certainly not least, mm -hmm. uh, our uh, Alice, uh, also Tapcat. Uh, hello, tell us about yourself. What's your deal? Howdy. What's going on? Um, I'm like, well, as, as Tux mentioned, Alice, also known as Tapcat. Um, I, I do things mostly on the internet. Um, <laughs> I, I mod over at Actual Play, which is a thing run by Strauss and, uh, and, uh, Sean. Uh, they, like, every Thursday play, like, Scum Villainy and stuff, or every other Thursday, rather. <clears throat> so if you want to watch that and talk to me in chat and stuff, you can check that out. Um, once in a blue moon, I, I stream on my channel, but I haven't done that recently, but I'm, I'm hoping to do that more. So if that's a thing you're interested in, feel free to follow me. Yeah. Uh, same thing on Twitter, just talking about games and stuff, mostly. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, uh, Start Answer does another really, really good show. Um, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good stuff. Uh, but yeah, cool. So, uh, so today we are going to be playing a game called Urban Shadows. Which, if you don't know what that is, uh, it is based on another game called Apocalypse World, which is by uh, Vincent Baker. It's uh, kind of like a, it was like a new, a new school RPG, um, and it's got like a bunch of um, basically it's 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 a lot of uh, it's like really really based on the fiction, uh, really really based on like you two d six and you have moves. The GM never rolls dice. Um, it's hard to explain the game in a very short amount of time, uh, but yeah, it's very, uh, it's very, it's very fictionally driven. And so this game is based on that basically it uses the same rolling mechanics and kind of the same idea of, um, the GM has moves that they do, which are basically things that happen in the fiction. Uh, the players have their characters and they actually roll dice and they also have moves that they do, which are different things based on. Uh, the sort of playbook that they're playing. Like in this, we have like a werewolf who has a move to change into their werewolf shape. Um, and yeah, it's really cool. Urban Shadows is kind of like a think uh, the wire meets supernatural or like um, House of Cards meets X Files. Uh, like, like it's like a weird, like it's like a political urban based game. <laughs> And then you kind of throw, uh, like, werewolves and vampires and wizards and demons and fey mm -hmm. into that whole mix. It's, um, it's like Monster Hearts, if anyone's ever played that, except, you know, you're adults and you're not. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah. Uh, adult Monster Hearts is also a very good way to describe it, if you've played Monster Hearts. You, you mildly have your shit together. Like, not really, <laughs> you but, your like, you're kind of. <laughs> Also very comparable to uh, the World of Darkness, White Wolf yep. sort of. Yeah, thing. World of Darkness was another mm -hmm. really big, um, kind of a really big influence on it. Um, mm -hmm. It's by Magpie Games, so if you go to Mag, go to their website, uh, you can check it out, pick it up. Um, it's very very good. Uh, they also list a lot of their like their media references and their touchstones in that, so like it, it's very helpful like in each of the playbooks. They show, like, if you want to play a vampire, look at these medias and check out these things to get an idea of what vampires do. Mm -hmm. um, they show off all the stuff in there. Uh, it's a pretty cheap game, too, if you want to go pick it up. Uh, if I was uh, better at this, I would have a link for you right now, which I will definitely do have uh, next time. So next time, uh, watch out for the links. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, today we're just going to play the game. So... I think first we should, uh, since this is the first time everybody has kind of seen uh, the characters and everything, uh, let's go through each of your characters that you've made and talk about like their playbook, uh, what their whole jam is, what they got going on, uh, what they're doing. So uh, let's go in the same order as our, uh, uh, as Intro. our yeah, as our intros. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, Robin, tell us about yourself. Right then. Yeah, so Robin's a werewolf, um, a woo, <laughs> and basically she's a, kind of a runaway from home after she got turned to a werewolf, um, sort of with a, a special strain of the curse 
that uh, means that she turns every night and cannot control it. Well, cannot stop it. She doesn't regularly, like, heavily lose control or anything. Um, but yeah, uh, she's a fairly common looking woman, uh, kind of pale skin, um, definitely like circles in her eyes most of the time, doesn't really sleep a lot. Um, she's like six feet tall though. (laughs) (laughs) Shoulder length, black hair. Cool. Awesome. Um, Another big part of this game is uh, uh, basically debts, which are like a mechanical way of saying that someone owes you or you owe them, and you can like call on your debts. Uh, you can use them in different ways, uh, or ignore them, or ignore mm. them, or you can ignore them mm. completely if someone calls on it, and you can just yeah. you can just tell them, you can just tell them to fuck off, uh, and it might come back to bite you. Who knows? Who knows how that'll happen? Um, <laughs> So, um, mm-hmm. as part of this, uh, would you uh, want to say maybe like someone um, like that you have uh, people the people that you have uh, debts with? Oh uh, yeah. Um, so I didn't write down any of the debts that other people have on me, uh, and I'm gonna probably have fun with that because I think everyone has a debt on me or just just. Uh, mm-hmm. But nevertheless, Peaches does currently owe me um, because he lives in my territory at the moment, which as a werewolf, uh, another important mechanic is that I get a little stretch of turf in the city to call my own and have a little control over. Yeah. And that specific territory is basically just a, um, a city block. Uh, it's haunted with some mystical power and some uh, normal city encroachment which um, is kind of both coming from uh, rich asshole wizards, basically. Um, And then also, I've made a deal with someone that now there's a gargoyle that uh, is generally protecting the area. Mm -hmm. Yep. I still have a name for the gargoyle. Pass on. Anyways. (laughs) (laughs) Awesome. Uh, mm-hmm. let's move on, uh, down, uh, Peaches. Tell us about yourself, uh, what your playbook is, what you got going on. All right, so Peaches is a reverent, uh, did not die in a way it should have, unfortunately. <laughs> um, Peaches uh, was the child of a prostitute who was pretty much beaten to death by one of the customers and in the process of Peaches trying to protect his mother, uh, was kind of pushed onto a giant hook and was impaled and died. So Peaches was raised back to life and now has a little demon in the shape of a rat just living in his gut hole. And it's a cavalier way of saying that. Continue. <laughs> it's just a little demon living in my stomach. You know? Lit- literally a rat infested corpse. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> but it's an it's a it's a pretty decent rat. And it's hygienic as rats go. He's cool. Yeah. If, you're, if you're a demon, I'm pretty sure you keep care- you take care of yourself to a certain point, especially if you live in <laughs> someone's place. As a demon, I can confirm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's not the grossest hole. I mean, there's some guts running around, but <laughs> beside the point. Yeah. Um, poor Peaches owes like a lot of debts. Um, owes a debt to a random. A guy named Carl for truly mourning his debt. Uh, owe my demon a debt, and I owe Robin a debt, of course, for living in her territory. Um, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure there are more, but as of right now, that's the only things I can remember. Awesome, cool. Uh, Lionel, tell us about yourself. Cool. Uh, I'm Lionel Crawford. Uh, this- Born and raised in an aristocratic British family, kind of like groomed for to be one of the political elite. But at a creepy boarding school, I learned that the real power in the world comes from occult secrets, not mm-hmm. political connections. Yep, as you do. And, uh, <laughs> and now I am a, and a scholar of the occult and desperately trying to scheme my way into mystical power in this city 
I'm also uh, the curator for a museum collection at one of the local universities. And it's a totally it's a totally not gross thing that you're a curator of, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's all totally normal stuff there. <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what about your debts? Uh, my debts. Um, I have I similarly wrote down people who owe me debts. I have Bartholomew, who is like an assistant to someone on the local wizards council. And I've been hooking him up with some sort of arcane artifacts. And um, Robin, I hired one time to protect a shipment of my my wares, I guess. And uh, she totally let it get stolen. So <laughs> she owes me for that. You know. I, I also <laughs> remember I owe way too many debts to demons, which uh, I think we will I... get to next. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Stop, <laughs> Isabel. Tell us about yourself. I'm Isabel, and my job is to talk you into selling your soul. <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I'm just a cog in a corporate machine, right? I get you things you want. In exchange, you give me things I want, like your soul, your firstborn son, <laughs> that sort of thing. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. I just I just do my job, and I do it while looking really hot. Awesome. About it. How about your debts? Uh, so Lionel owes me four because <laughs> he's pissed off some demons, and I've been helping him with that issue. But we we have a business relationship, so it's mm -hmm. it's fine. Mm -hmm. um, I owe a woman named Lydia too. Uh, Lydia is, uh, a, if I remember right, she is a oracle. Mm -hmm. She keeps trying to, you know, save my soul and stuff, and it just keeps getting her hurt, and I find I kind of feel bad about it, but it's it's fine. You know. <laughs> um, I I owe my corporate handlers three because I mean I work for them they're they're my boss uh, so they it's it's my job it's how that works and uh, Robin owes me two because you know keeping her family from looking for her like keeping the other werewolves away like stuff like that I just I help people my job is to help people absolutely that, that's 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 it somehow I kept most of my soul. <laughs> I, you know, like it's, it's souls. They're like they're worth like a quarter of a normal soul. Like it's it's easier to just mm -hmm. keep the werewolf in, on like the payroll than take their soul. You know, right? Of course, but, of course. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just good business. <laughs> See, <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Um. So yeah, I think to start us off tonight, uh, Urban Shadows has a session intro move that uh i would like to do so we can kind of like uh we talked about like some stuff and i've come up with some like uh stuff with the factions and stuff that's going on but um i'd like to do the session intro move so um like we can see what everybody else is interested in seeing uh because that's basically what the move is designed for so uh at the beginning of every session choose the player of the character you trust the least to spotlight a faction for your character that isn't already marked and mark that faction Tell the MC about a rumor or conflict that you've heard about that faction, building on previous established information if you'd like, and roll with the faction. So, uh, Robin, who do you trust the least? Oh, this is a tough choice. <laughs> <laughs> Got some very watching. untrustworthy people here. Uh -huh. Look, I, look the, the, the two filthy capitalists. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, just... You might be right, but that doesn't make that less fruitful. <laughs> <laughs> um, Just do it like uh, stop. I wouldn't say I'm a capitalist. I'm an aristocrat at heart. <laughs> <laughs> right, feudalism is where it's at. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say Lionel. Awesome. I, I, I know I, where I stand with the demon, at least. Cool. Uh, so, Lionel, pick a faction for Robin to uh, mark. Mm -hmm. Is there any, like, I don't know, fictional framing around what 
faction you're picking or is it just nope um if you if, just if, for fun kind of <laughs> just and anything you want to mark if yeah. you have like a certain thing like kind of um i've always, i've seen it as like basically what you want to see that person interact with like mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. since we're just starting it's kind of just an initial thing but like especially like if we do this like a few seconds from now and like someone's barely touched like mortality at all you could say like i want to see you interact with mortality so i'm gonna spotlight that one for you um mm -hmm. yeah since we're, just, since we're just starting off it can just be like uh whatever reason you want to pick one if it's helpful information, I have a one in everything except power, which I have a negative one in. <laughs> the eyebrow game is strong. <laughs> Make sure I have my notebook ready so I can start taking some taking some dank notes. It's a good idea. <laughs> So which one are you thinking about? Yeah. Dylan? Oh, am I supposed yeah. to be thinking? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yes. Yeah, you, um, oh, it's... sorry. I spaced on that entirely. Uh, sorry, sorry. I'm picking one for Robin. <laughs> yes. Since yes. Robin, since Robin, one for yeah, since Robin, Robin picked me, least. I... Yes, Robin. I, uh, yeah. I guess. Yes, yeah. Um, sure. Well, I guess, obviously, I'm going to pick power, right? That's okay. the negative one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah cool. do it. All right, so Robin, I want to uh, see I want to see you interact with yeah. some wizards. Cool, Robin. Uh, what is the rumor or conflict that you've heard about? And this can be like stuff we talked about before, or it can just be like a thing you pull off the top of your head, like a rumor or conflict that I've heard about. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna say that there's some kind of uh, high up power struggle going on. Ooh. Wizard power struggles tend to tend to not be good for the people around them. Yeah. No, Lots of know. random meteors falling from the sky, crushing people. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. That, that's so one now, way to decrease property value. See whatever addressed in files. Yeah. So now, uh, roll with power. Roll with power. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, and, and uh, mark power uh, on your sheet. Right. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I, I marked power. Um, yep. So I'll just roll 2d6 minus 1. Mm -hmm. Three. That's, a, that's good. Right? Excellent. So, uh, on a miss, you're caught flat-footed, unprepared, or unaware. The MC will tell you who is coming at you. We will see that when we uh, when we get into play. Oh right. boy. <laughs> uh, excellent. Peaches. Uh, who do you trust the least? <laughs> who do I trust uh, the least? Um. Sorry, Lionel, but I don't trust you. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> trusting the demon. This is wonderful. That's fine. I am not it's, trustworthy. <laughs> it's less trust of the demon and more so I know the shit with you. Like, yeah. I, I'm so glad I've convinced you that you understand anything of what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Un unfortunately, you had me steal something for you, and uh, that makes me yeah. think that you would do anything that you want to get what you have That's and fair. you don't have you don't have anyone to like respond to or like go to like hey this is my business you're, you're just doing it because you're a jerk so sorry. <laughs> yeah jerk is subjective whatever you know whatever he's a businessman <laughs> business jerk <laughs> you're not you're not wrong <laughs> you're not wrong but still hurtful <laughs> Awesome. Peaches is sorry. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Lionel, pick a faction for Peaches. Um, hmm. Let's see. Um, how about mortality? Cool. That sounds so, fun. So uh, Peaches, on your sheet, uh, there should be a little checkbox next to mortality. Uh, check that. You got um, it. And then uh, roll with your stats for that. Did I do that right? Nope. <laughs> It's oh, slash yeah, yeah, roll. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What was it? Mm -hmm. slash Do slash, slash roll. Yep. And then or just slash r, I think works. Yeah, slash yep. r works too. And then just two d six minus one. Yep. Slash r two d six minus one slash roll. Nope. Um, Let's try this. There isn't one specifically for the session intro move, uh, but if you click one of the faction moves. And just make sure that uh, the right one is selected. It'll that that'll work too, because all the faction moves roll. Like, basically, there's a little select selector above the those faction moves. And if you pick mm -hmm. mortality, 
and then just, right. just click just click any of those um it'll use well, that to roll. Buttons. Yep. Yep. yeah those little little buttons with the dice in them okay i'm gonna have to full screen for this there you go <laughs> yeah no it's too small <laughs> Fine, I'm going to try one more time. If not, it's going to be interesting. It'll be slash roll and then a space and then 2d6 minus one. Slash roll 2d6 minus one. Yep. There we go. There you go. Oh, four. <laughs> Great. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> We're off to a good start. You're caught flat footed or unprepared or unaware. The MC will tell you who is coming at you. Cool beans. Um, oh, oh, um, uh, what is the rumor or conflict you've heard about um, with, with mortality? So, like, mortality is like um, normal, normal people, mortals, <laughs> n like whether associated or unassociated with uh, like the <laughs> whole supernatural yeah. stuff going on. Uh, I heard a mortal has been hired to start uh, digging up some grays for something I do not know yet. Oh, that's mm -hmm. maybe grave robbers. And that's some corpses. Grave robbers. For what? For what I do not know. Grave robbers going down. Mm -hmm. Got it. Mm -hmm. Roll the four. Excellent. Excellent. Are there good profit margins on black market corpse parts? Probably. <laughs> good corpse profit parts margins on most or <laughs> anything they're buried with. As long as you know who to sell it to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isabel, yeah. who do you trust the least? Oh, so many options. So <laughs> Come many on, options. bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> See, I actually, Lionel and I have an understanding of some sort. I don't necessarily, like, distrust him or trust him. It's just, mm -hmm. we have a business relationship. So, um, yeah. I, Werewolf, I honestly don't think, sorry, darling, I don't think he's smart enough to pull anything. <laughs> um, I think it's the Revenant, just because I think she's going to get played into doing something. Like, I, I, I think it's just, she's she's new, she's not good at this yet, she's just going to get used, and I just have to keep an eye out on her. Oh, poor Peaches. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Peaches, pick a faction for Isabel to mark. Let's go random, let's go night. Night, cool. <laughs> oh, fun. I love uh, that. Isabel, what is a rumor or conflict you've heard about involving night? Oh, let's see. Um, there's some. So, knights are, are like, like uh, uh, night... creatures Vamp of the werewolf, night. Werewolf, vampire, ghost. Yep. Werewolf, vampire, ghost. Anything oh, like, yeah, ghosts. like shadowy and night related. And uh, such. I think there's, uh, there, the, there's a few more. Like, ghosts are starting to gather in places, like, sev like, like, just it clusters. Okay. Hmm. All right, now uh, mark a knight and roll with it. Yeah, yeah. I, I love how we've all rolled minus one so far. It's real. <laughs> Four. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was loud. Continue. We are, You're caught flat-footed, unprepared, or unaware. The MC will tell you who is coming at you. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Lionel. Everyone's who, in a bad spot. Who do you trust the least? <laughs> who do I trust the least? Um... <laughs> I mean, I think I think it's obviously obviously Isabel. Okay. I've got, yeah, everyone everyone's got a good reason not to trust me. But the scholar's <laughs> corruption move is when you exploit someone's ignorance of the arcane for personal gain, and I think that Robin and Peaches are both ignorant and exploitable. Uh, Isabel's the course. dangerous one. Of course. I don't trust anyone, but Isabel's the dangerous one. Oh, oh I see. awesome. Uh, so, Isabel, please pick a faction for Lionel. Oh, I'm going to make you play right here. Let's mark Wild. Ooh, cool. Right. So, Wild, yes. Wild is, like, anything that doesn't fit into the other categories, so generally, like... Also, I think every um, other one got marked besides yeah, Wild, yeah. so... Yeah. Um, so, like, Fey, Demons, anything just weird and out of the ordinary. Yeah. Anything that doesn't have its own, like, uh, power, like, that's weird to categorize and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Demons are Wild? That's mm -hmm. like good. Demons are Wild, wild. Fey are Wild, mm -hmm. anything, like... I don't need more demons up uh, in my business. Who's the Revenant one? I think, uh, yeah, the Revenant. Rev no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Revenant is either Knight or Wild. Revenant is Knight, I think. Okay. Yeah. But. Hmm. So I need to roll plus Wild and come up with a rumor. 11. Uh, there you go. Oh, no. I had mortality selected. My bad. Oh. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, we can keep the roll. I'll we can through. just subtract two. So that should be a nine. A nine. Okay. Got it. So, um, mm -hmm. so what is this rumor, rumor or conflict you've heard about? Rumor or conflict? Um, hmm, about wild, huh? Mm -hmm. 
Well, it's probably wild, it's probably about demons because they're the only wild group that I pay any attention to. Got um, it. Hmm. I think maybe there's like a a new cult in town that's probably like lying low at the moment, but people with the right connections have heard rumors. Maybe maybe people have come to part of my arcane network looking for kind of, I don't know, religious trinkets related to a new demon that hasn't been operational in town before. Okay. So we got a power structural, uh, a power struggle, uh, grave digging, uh, more ghostly activity, and some some uh, new cult stuff. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, so on a seven to nine, you're neck deep in it. You owe someone in that faction a debt, and someone in that faction owes a debt to you. Uh, so let's decide. Uh. Let's, let's decide uh, these these two new debts. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. So. Do we want to say um, someone in the fact, someone in the the cult, um, like that? Yeah. Uh, bought something from you. Yeah, yeah. I was I was thinking the same thing. That that makes total sense. If they're moving into town, cool. I I probably helped them bring some demonic, demonically significant items into town. Uh -huh. like, I don't know, some sort of reliquary or something, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hmm. Let's see. So I'm gonna come up with a. Her name's at. Oh, my mm -hmm. name's not appeared yet. Um, let's see. How about uh, the name is number five. Number five. Yep. All right. Number five. Good name. Uh, would you like to? Would you, would you like to have this be a like a like? O and owed by number five, or um, do you want to um, come up with some someone else that um, that you owe? Because hmm. I figure uh, number hmm. five has gotten uh, artifacts from you, and so they owe you. Um, yeah. Would you like to um, come up with somebody else that you owe, or uh, have it be number five as well? Hmm. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't feel strongly either way. Do you want to throw more NPCs into the mix? Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm good with more NPCs. Um, All right. Then sure, let's make it someone else. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, how about... Let's see. So it is a cult gathering and seeking artifacts for uh, an unknown demon. Um, mm -hmm. How about... Uh, let's see. Who was this? Who was the, who, you had someone in your, um, in your uh, circle that uh, yep. dealt with demon stuff, right? Hi, that'd be like I. I um, oh yeah, I guess uh, Isabel or um, so there was someone else. Uh, Phoenix Perez. There's Phoenix Perez, yes, yeah. has I believe the best collection of literature on demonology. Uh, uh, would you like to say in, maybe in um, maybe you got a, like a book or something from Phoenix, and uh, so um, you owe, uh, you owe Phoenix a debt. Sure. Okay. Coolio. Phoenix Perez. That's extra fun, because I think I need some favors from Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> I really need to get into that library. <laughs> so I know you got me something, but uh, I need more. <laughs> mm. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. So now we have done all of our uh, session intro stuff. We've kind of gone over our characters, what's going on with them. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think we are good to uh, dive into it. Yeah, we can do some stuff before we uh, before we take our first break. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. So, I think we start out. Um, uh, so the camera kind of like like the, the the show of this um, starts off with like a big view of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of get like the sweeping stuff just to kind of show off the city. Um, all the sections of it, uh, like we see downtown, um, we go out and kind of see like the bigger areas, uh, surrounding Atlanta. It's like a big thing just to show mm -hmm. off like the whole surrounding area and stuff. And so it's yeah. very, 
mortal looking, but then we like see like we probably like, swing by like a, like a rooftop and see like uh, some weird ritual happening. Um, mm-hmm. We like dive into uh, like dive down into an alley as like the like the sun goes down, and um, uh, we see. Um, we see someone uh, standing in an like, stand, like standing in a dark alley, um, and like like someone like walks by and like the person like kind of starts following them, um, and then they like, mm-hmm. cut away from that to something else. Um, yeah, we we totally have to have in that intro sequence a shot of Robin's territory with the gargoyle like sitting on a roof. Oh yeah, and then yeah, as the yeah. sun goes down, it moves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Speaking of Robin, um. So we talked about your your territory being kind of uh, like near near or close to the outside of the perimeter. Um, did you have a closer idea on that, or um... uh, not really, to be honest. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Let's see. What's a good place for what I'm thinking? Um, That could work. Um, I'm gonna do the like the the group ping move thing over to uh, an area. Um, All right. This little intersection right here. Um, uh-huh. uh, would something like near that be good? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. So there's like uh, maybe a block over in Conley there. Yeah. Awesome. Let's mark that on the map so we can uh, Robin's territory. Awesome. Oh, oh, yep, 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 backspace. There we go. Cool. Um, and so we get this whole thing. Um, yeah, I think we zoomed by there first in the daytime and saw this gargoyle standing on top of a building and then we come back at night and the gargoyle's in a different spot <laughs> um mm-hmm. and so we like and then we like, we kind of zoom down um robin can you describe uh uh where you live uh yeah i mean um imagine it's like i don't know not um I'm not good at, at these sorts of descriptions, but <laughs> eh, I, I imagine it's sort of like moderately nice, not not like uh you know perfect suburbia or whatever, but sure, you know just just sort of chill, not very busy, uh sort of little city block. Awesome. How about um, how about like your like like your like do you have like an apartment or a house there or anything? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I share an apartment um, with a uh, roommate, kind of older sister sort of figure named mm-hmm. Bobby, who kind of found me on one of my runaway nights um, and was like, hey, this is a, a place you can stay and we'll, you know, talk about this whole werewolf thing. Um, she does not have the same strain of the curse that I do. Right, yeah. We just kind of have a, eh, Kind of, kind of cheap, shitty studio apartment. Mm-hmm. Does uh, does Peaches live with you, or do they um, does Peaches live like in like just a, a place in the territory? Um, I'm not sure. Peaches, do you want to elaborate? Um, I kind of feel like Peaches would kind of live in the same factory that the mother was murdered, only because it has, even though it's a horrible place, it would probably still has sentimental value because that's where uh, that's fair. Peaches grew up macabre attraction yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> that's cool cool um so you don't live uh you don't so you don't so you um i guess is, is that uh do you think that's in the territory or is that somewhere else i would um, imagine that's near the territory at least near it okay got it yeah i was just, i was wondering if um you two would be together now or uh if robin would be not with uh now with peaches um okay cool yeah so we come in um, it's like early evening, so like kind of like uh, the sun's like about to set, 
and um, you're like about to like. Uh, does, um, I guess I'll ask you. Um, so do you change like sunsets? You change? Um, is it like kind of like a different time each night? Or is it just like? Uh, how does that work out? I'm gonna say it's midnight. Midnight you change? Okay, got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. So. Let's see. Let's come up with this uh, person that I'm about to bring in. Um. So um, you're in your apartment. Um, Bobby is uh, out at the moment. Um, she went out to like groceries, went to go get something. Yeah. Um, so you're in the apartment, and uh, there's a knock on the door. That's like uh, it's one of the like annoying knocks, where like someone does like the like the start of like a tone like. And then, like, waits. And then... <laughs> uh, probably first, just look out the people. Be as silent as possible. Mm -hmm. um, there's, uh, there's a man out there. Um, he's uh, fairly pale. Um, got, like, red hair. Kind of done up in, like, a businessy short haircut. Um... Uh, he's wearing a, like, it's a suit, but it's, like, missing parts. So he's got, like, the jacket on, but then he's got, like, a t-shirt underneath that. Um, and it's, like, nice pants, but then he's got, like, cons on. Uh, so it's, like, a weird mishmash of fashion. And, uh, he's, like, he's, like, chewing it. He's got, like, a toothpick in his mouth, and he's kind of, like, doing, like, the thing where he's just, like, mouth just playing with the toothpick. Like, he, like, spins, like, spins it once, like, rolls it around in his lips. Um, and you just stand there, like, uh, just stand there waiting. Uh, I don't think you, uh, you, you don't know this person. Right. Yeah, I'll open the door slightly. Just, what the fuck do you want? Oi, are, uh, you Robin? Could be. Who's this? Name's Farley. Hack him in. Farley. Let's have a conversation on the porch. All right. He like steps up and like. Yeah. I'll just uh, you know step step outside. I guess not really porch, but whatever. Sure, sure. Um, kind of like like uh, I guess is it like in like the hallway outside the apartment, or is like this is your apartment entrance like kind of like um got like a little, and like a little uh, foyer or something that like you walk into the building or. Uh, I imagine it's just the hallway outside. Okay, so you're just standing in the hallway with him. Um, <laughs> yeah, so he, like, goes, like, the opposite of the door and, like, leans against the wall. Um, he's got, like, the, like, he's just, like, messing around with the toothpick in his mouth. Um, and he's, like, got, like, a, like a, like a cheesy smirk. And he's just, Do like, I smell like, anything <sighs> odd about him? Um, you smell... I'm waiting for Axe body spray. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's, like, so, like, Axe is here in the level of, like, <laughs> cologne brands and stuff. Like, imagine, like, the expense level of up here, but the same quality of Axe. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't God. smell good, and he just, like, kind of, like, put a bunch on, because it's like, the more cologne oh, I have, no. the more attractive I am, right? Right? Oh, That's how no. it works. Um, right, okay. So, yeah, it's like, it's, ex like, it was, it's probably really expensive, like, like, you don't get it at Walmart or anything, but, like, <laughs> it's still Somehow. some crap. Yeah. yeah. Somehow, Robin looks even more pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so yeah, he like, he like waits for you to step outside, and um, he's like kind of standing there, and um, so, uh, how long how long how long you been here? How do you know my name? Oh, I know lots of things. What's it matter to you how long I've been here? Curious man. Curious about Curiosity. Lines. Curiosity doesn't bring people knocking on my door. Money does. You're, you're a smart lass. That's good. Um, 
and he like reaches into his pocket and uh he like he like pulls out like has this big wad of hundreds um <laughs> like with like a rubber band on it and he like pulls like he pulls one out and it's like kind of like crumply um and he like ho- like he like holds it out in his fingers um and uh he says um uh here's an advance for uh for being smart I like that yeah, we'll take money. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's, it's like kind of crumply. Like it probably like you you don't, you don't want to get your nose too close to that bill. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, yeah, you're right. So money is uh, money is the reason for everything, you know. And uh, so now you don't you and your you and your uh, she your sister she your friend she your uh, you two what, what's what's that about? We're close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like I said, I'm pretty smart too. So I know you don't uh, officially own the deeds to all of this area, but it's 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 yours. It's your it's the two of you. Mm-hmm. You can say that. Well, yeah, you know, got two wolves living here. Uh, you can do whatever you want to do. Mm, relatively. Yeah, yeah. So. Wanted to ask you how much it would take to uh, get you uh, get you out of here, get uh, this area. I want it. Ah, you and who else? Ah, uh, just me for now. Mm-hmm. Not a fucking chance in hell. See, when I was a lad, a father, I'd ask him for things, and he'd tell me no. I, I just, I just, I just hated it. I just couldn't stand it. He'd tell me no. I'd say, I want, oh, I want this toy. I saw it on the TV. It's this thing where you, it's like a top, and you spin it, and it never stops spinning. It's great. And he said no, and I just, I couldn't take it, and. uh Got this thing about no, where I don't like hearing it. So, I can ask again, uh, how much will it take for you two to leave and uh, leave things in my hands? At this point, Robin grins, and she was definitely sort of slouching and leaning against the wall before, and she just kind of stands up to her full six feet and, and kind of looms over him. And uh, Oh yeah, he's shorter than you. He's totally shorter yeah. than you. <laughs> um, would I be rolling with blood or mind in order to sort of uh, intimidate him? Well, um, let's look at the moves. Um, so maybe that'd be hard. Actually, yeah, like I should probably look at the moves. Yeah, yeah. Um, so <laughs> there is pers- uh, persuade an NPC when you persuade an NPC through seduction, promises, or threats. Roll with heart. So um, okay. Uh, yeah. So there's that. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, it sounds like that's what we're going to do if you're going to, like, threaten him and you want him to do something. Um, it sounds like you're going to yeah. be persuading an NPC. Yep, so, uh... I uh, shall roll my persuade, then. Okay. Got 11. Nice. Uh, so, yeah. what, would you, uh, what would you like him to do? Um, generally fuck off and not come back for a while. Okay. <laughs> Tell, you know, get, get leave, you know, tell whoever the fuck else as well. <laughs> You know, leave a little growl. Okay, <laughs> Fair yeah. reminder that midnight isn't too far off. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So you're like looming over him, and you're just like, uh, "What do you say? What like? Uh, what do you say to him?" Um, I yeah, just just pretty much fuck off. I think the the toothpick falls. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ground. And like ah, that's how it's gonna be. All right, great. Well. And, like, pushes himself off the wall. Um, she just, like, takes a step closer. Like, oh, okay, okay. so, like, see, we don't have to, like, 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 steps around you, like, to, like, start heading for the exit. <laughs> like, okay, so, see, see, nothing's starting yet. You don't have to be so violent. It's, it's fine. I'm just, I'm, I'm leaving now. I'm leaving now. I'm not gonna call later. You know, here. And he, like, reaches into his, like, like he reaches into his, like, his, his coat pocket, and he, like, pulls out a card, and he, like, hands it out to you. Like, you take my card. <laughs> 
I take the card and eat it. Ah, so, you, so you're not going to be able to call me <laughs> if you eat the card, so I'll get in touch with you. It'll be great. Okay, talk to you later. No, you won't. Okay, got it. See you later. <laughs> they turn and just start walking away. <laughs> okay, awesome. Uh, so yeah, we see Farley. Um, he uh, he like gets to the uh, gets to the hallway to the stairs, and he like, looks back and like gives you like a fr- like a like <laughs> faux friendly wave, and then yeah, just hit, and, uh, heads out. Yeah. So at that point, I just kind of walk back in, into uh, the apartment and <laughs> probably lock the deadbolt awesome. and, and just kind of chill. Awesome. In in my head cannon, as soon as he turns around, you spit out the card because it tastes like soap to cologne. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Yeah, thing. it's like thin. No, I committed yeah. to it and swallowed that thing. It tastes like cologne yeah. sweat. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Gross. Um, awesome. Cool. Uh, so, yeah, Robin uh, just got an offer, and now I think like we... We fade. Uh, Isabel, what are you doing, uh, like, 7, 8 at night? Oh, so I, I think I'm in the office talking to someone. Okay. Uh, so I, I think what we see is, um, we, like, uh, there's, uh, I, did we decide where, like, the, the air quote black market is? I forgot. Uh, we have not. We can decide uh, that now. Uh, I, I don't necessarily know where it would be, but wherever the black market is, I think like on the outskirts, I have a building. Uh, it's it's uh, it like, um, uh, what's his name? Lionel keeps some stuff here too. We kind of share the space, mm-hmm. but the the front area is sort of where where I do business usually, unless I'm making a house call. Okay. Um. um so I guess uh, what are you picturing for this for like the black market? Is it like um. Uh, is it like a secret thing? Like you go into this like shop and then you go downstairs and it's this whole thing, or is it like kind of like um like is it like a front business for it, or is it like a warehouse? Um, is it like I kind of picture it like as a series of different buildings, and each of them kind of act like normal places, mm-hmm. except they all kind of have their own back stuff going on. So mm-hmm. it's sort of just like the area where all of these secret places sort of kind of come in a circle. Like they're they're just all kind of cloistered together here. Okay. Um. So it's not like we're all in the same building or anything. We're all sort of on the same, like, block, almost, I guess. Cool. Um, I kind of like the idea that it's, like, downtown, yeah. where, like, uh, like all these, like, you know, like, the several streets where all these shops are, and just mm-hmm. random ones are connected, like, through, like, weird tunnels or whatever so, yeah. to, like, this, like, get to this, like, separate area where it's, like, this, like, the black market. Yeah. Um, but yeah, on the fronts, it's like, oh yeah, this is just like a clothing store, or this is just, uh, it's just, a, you know, it's just a cafe or whatever. But then, you know, you go through mm-hmm. the the, the yeah. other door, and then there's weird stuff just hanging around. But like you said, you like, like it's not there if you don't know it's there. But if you know yeah. it's there, it's like, yeah, that's that's the door. You go in that door. So uh, mm-hmm. the, I think we're like when we pan into the building, uh, it's just like. Um, me sitting in a desk kind of leaning back like i'm not smoking but i'm twirling a cigarette like mm-hmm. it's like it's like 7 p.m i have sunglasses still on uh like my hair is pulled like um i look super trendy like i look i look like i just washed out walked out of a fashion mo- like magazine or something mm-hmm. um i'm just talking to the guy like okay so i i, I get that your doctor said that your daughter has like three like six months to live now trust me I've done this a few times. I'm 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 leaning towards more like three. So just you can you can either keep like tiptoeing around it, or you can just, you know, sign the contract and just like slide it towards them. <laughs> um Yeah, so what are the contracts like do they actually say in the contracts like you are signing your soul to No, it's one hundred percent like legalese, like complete like in a it cross out the word soul and stuff, like, and it's actually a legitimate contract that <laughs> can work for pretty much anything. Mm-hmm. Um, like selling your motorcycle mm-hmm. to someone, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but it's your soul, and you have to sign it in blood. Whatever. <laughs> is is the soul referred to as intangible assets in the contract? <laughs> it is. You are correct. You are one hundred percent correct. <laughs> intangible um, assets, nice. Uh, so I'm I'm just like. Uh, Party A agrees to sign over full access and rights of the tan- so, intangible assets. <laughs> so how, how, 
housework love is you can either you're she's she's like six right so you can sell me her soul and that will give her like 40 years you can sell me your soul and that'll give her you look like a smoker like 15 10 somewhere on there uh or you can sell me both and she'll live a long happy life uh and we fade over like um uh i think he's a guy he's like uh like kind of like uh darker skin um uh, his clothes don't look expensive at all. They're like, like, just like, like a t-shirt and jeans or something like that. Um, and he's kind of like, like clutching the desk a little bit, like, like you tell his, like, he's like really tense. His hands are like, kinda, he's like wrapping his fingers a little bit, and like, um, I, but I, is there's nothing I can do? I, I can't, I can't, I can't sell her soul. I can't do that. I, but, uh... Hey, hey, I'm just saying, if you want to give her the longest, happiest life possible, her soul's worth more than yours. You're the same blood, you can sign the papers, usually it has to be like, she would have to be here and do it herself, but because she's underage and stuff, because we, you know, she's your codependent, you can do it. I, but, I, is there anything I can do to make mine, make, make, make me worth more to No, s sorry, uh, what, with 20 years of smoking and like yeah no I'm, I'm sorry you're just old middle aged men's souls aren't exactly worth terribly much like I mean it's a soul so like obviously it's worth stuff but, but you know uh, but you have a daughter you like less that you want to sell her soul no I can't <laughs> what is it what, what does that even what does it even mean what does what mean hun sell uh, you uh, you own them I don't even so, uh, I promise you, after you, if you sign the contract, you will go on and live your life. You will probably never see me again. Nothing as far as, we won't come and collect her in a few years. Like, we're, I, I'm not going to sell her into a slave market or something like that. Whatever, whatever things happen will be a result of what you're doing now. I will never talk to you again. Uh, I'm happy to roll and try and convince him if you would like me to. Okay, sure. Um, uh, what would you like him to do? Uh, I would like him to sell both his and her soul okay. to me. <laughs> Preferably, if I can only get one, hers. But, you know, okay, both is it. always better. Okay. Um, also, I... That's, that's an eight. All right. Uh, they modify the terms. Uh, okay, cool. So yeah, on uh, yeah, persuade an NPC, uh, seven to nine, they modify the terms or demand a debt. Um, okay. Um, so he looks down, um, and then he looks up, and is um, okay. So. I, I can't give you her, I, I can't give you hers. I, I, just, I just can't. I can give you mine. And... What if I gave how, you, what if I gave you a lead? How about this? I'll take the lead, give me her soul, I'll give her 70 years. She'll outlive you. I can't have I can't I can't have her oh what kind of life she will know she... me she will know me a thing besides you know her soul but what even is a soul <laughs> right <laughs> right <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to look my daughter in the eye knowing that I sold sold that I... <laughs> will you be able to live with it after you sell yours I, I'm I'm not worth anything. What what well, what'll, what'll mine and the and and the lead get me? Yours and the lead depends on the lead, which I will have to hear in advance. Anywhere from twenty to thirty depends on the lead. Maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. 
You'll still have to watch your daughter die just later. Okay, so... I heard... Okay, so back at the shop, uh, yesterday, a couple days ago, they had they had some inspectors coming in, poking around. Um, like, uh, you, what, what, like really powerful people are worth a lot, right? Depends on the power, sure. Well, uh, this guy, he was checking around the shop. I. I thought I was just seeing things, like I just I got too much of the fumes in me or something. But this guy, he did, he did, he did something. Like he was walking, and like a machine was like about to do, like something was coming down, and he like moved his hand and it didn't hit him. And I thought I was just seeing something, but now since I, I found out of all this stuff, I, I don't know. He yeah, he's he's in town wait. checking out checking out a bunch of stuff, like maybe you, you get his. What's he look like? Uh he's. So he's like maybe, like I don't know, like five seven, five eight, something like that. Like, really red hair. Uh He dresses like he dresses like those kids do, like where they try to be fancy but they're not really fancy. Like. He had this toothpick in his mouth, acting like a big shot. Look, okay, so it's not much of a lead. You don't even know his fucking name. Uh, I, your soul is, I like, look him up and down, 15. I'll give her 22. 22, with the lead? Like 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 twenty two total, even with even with what I gave you. Correct. But he he's a, he's he's got like powers or something. And you have no idea where he is, what his name is, or anything else that could ever be useful tracking him down. But he's in town. He's gonna be he's gonna be checking around the shops and stuff. Like... Which is why you have seven more years for your daughter. <sighs> well, what if? Could it be like you check him out and like he is actually worth more and like you, you, you like you, like you add it on or something? Sure, but I take your soul first. Fine. Okay. I think of addendum to the contract real quick by like taking the spin <laughs> like I'm like right like I don't think I actually like my fingers not bleeding or anything. I don't think I take out a pen. I literally just trace my finger on the paper and the contract writes itself. Um, I spin it back around to him, and I'm just like, if you would, yep. I just hand him a small letter opener. Uh huh. Oh, so he has to like poke his finger. Yeah. And, like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he like big sigh, and then just like, <clears throat> and he like kind of signs his name on uh, the paper. All right. So I I like stand up. I walk. I I, I, I like put the cigarette down like in the ashtray. I haven't lit it still. I walk around um, at Silver Lampies, so like I ask him, so he'll face me, mm -hmm. uh, and I, I think I literally like put a hand on his shoulder, and then like you see like my skin sort of like like I'm I'm kind of pale, not really. I kind of look like I've, I've been to the beach, like maybe I'm, I'm kind of tan, I guess, a little bit, but you see that like color just drain and turn gray, and I think I just like shove my hand through his chest. Um, and like you, as soon as it makes contact, there's like a smoke, like type of thing. Like my hair starts waving, and I just pull out this little like it's kind of um, I imagine it's the size of like a softball, um, just like kind of a pale white glow, like a little waveling, like it's just a little light I hold in my hand. I, I just hold it. Um, I think his like, chest where my hand was is still kind of like smoking a bit. I pull it back. I'm like, thank you for your business. I'll be in touch. You can leave now. And like, like, he like feels his chest, like, like he's like, 
Uh, okay. Off you go. Like, stands up, like, really confused. Uh, so, by the way, uh, uh, what I imagine people without their souls act like is, I imagine it's different depending on various mm -hmm. factors. Um, I also imagine it's di different depending on how your soul is taken. Yeah. Like, if I, like, this is a ritual, like, this is a contract. He's not going to die from me taking it, but I imagine certain ways, if you're, like, stealing someone's soul, that can kill him. But I imagine it's sort of like slowly bleeding to death when you have your soul gone, except it's with emotions, right? Yeah. So imagine like he's slowly going to get duller and duller emotionally, or if he's going to get angrier and angrier. Like the angry ones turn to serial killers. These guys turn into like just lifeless husks. So it'll sure. depend. Uh -huh. Like he won't be able to watch his daughter grow up anyway, so he'll, he'll stop caring. But you know. You know. Whatever. <laughs> so yeah like he leaves i like put the soul in a like a little jar i imagine the jar has like mm -hmm. little paper charms around the lid mm -hmm. and i put the thing on and i like wrap a red string around it and tie it and there's a little crackle of little magic energy because it's a special jar for souls i put it in a safe awesome awesome uh yeah so i think um um so uh, this man leaves, um, and like someone else, like just like like not even like they don't like they don't treat it like an office where you would like knock and like expect to be let in. They just like kind of go through the door as he's leaving the room. Um, it's a woman in like uh, like a um, I don't know what it's called, like a like a, like like. Nice jacket, like nice skirt, like 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 she like works like at an office or something. Um, her hair is like kind of like done up, um, uh, kind of kind of uh like tan, tan skin. Um, she walks over, like she doesn't like introduce herself, doesn't say anything. She just walks over, um, and like sets a Manila folder on your desk, and just like pushes it at you, and um, corporate has a special assignment for you. This is where I take that cigarette and I light it. Uh, <laughs> it's like uh, I, I don't use like my finger or anything. It's like an actual lighter, um, and I, I just take a long drag. I'm like, nice to see you, Katie. Take the folder, hmm. open it. Um, and it's like a, it's written. It's, it's like written out like a business memo. Um, mm -hmm. so it's got like like the the two. Isabel, uh, like, and then the thing, like, from corporate, and then, like, this whole thing, uh, basically it amounts to, um, so I figure, like, souls that have, like, come back, and, like, are mm -hmm. actually souls that have come back are worth a lot. Like, uh, what, uh, you mean, like, ghosts? Yeah, like, or... ghosts, basically. Um, cause, like, cause, like, there's, like, like, uh, like uh like peaches is like has come back and is like partially connected to their body but like isn't like fully there um but like a spirit or a ghost or whatever is like just the soul has like taken a shape and is like hanging around um and so i figure those are like sit, sit, like they've got enough essence to them to do this to like come back from wherever souls sure. go um I think it. Uh, so how I, how I imagine it. Tell me if I'm I'm close or wrong or whatever. So uh, part of the reason why human souls are so worth as much is because they're unattached already. Like no one already owns them. Mm -hmm. um, that's why you can't barter for like a demon soul. It doesn't fucking have one, and if it does, it's already sold to something else. Like yeah, a, yeah. they have a master. Like I can't sell my soul. Right. Obviously. Right. right. Um, yeah, yours is already owned. Like uh, the mm -hmm. revenant can't sell their soul because mm -hmm. whoever brought them back, that demon has a tie. Right. To exactly. It. Uh, the demon would have to sell it. Mm -hmm. Um. So I, I imagine like un unattached ghosts. Sure. Uh, could be worth something. I don't know if like like in the exchange rate what where they'd be, but they're right. Be yeah, worth yeah. Because yeah. like like they're they they have enough essence to have come back from the dead. Yeah. And since they're like yeah. if they were attached to something, they would have been taken away. But like they're yeah. they're unattached, and they're enough to like come back to the land of mm -hmm. people and like take shape and do sure. things. Makes sense. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's basically an assignment that says um, uh, a, um official corporate mandate. Uh, go to, um, let's see, 
good. Let's see, I'm not sure where good graveyard is, but like it lists like the name of a graveyard. Um, uh, there have been some, there have been reports of, um, like eerily, like this isn't usual, but like and like like odd, like collections of spirits, um, being seen and like sensed by uh by other employees. And um, corporate wants you to look into it, uh, and it's an official corporate mandate. So um, corporate is calling in a favor or uh, uh, cashing in a debt. So they want me to do what with the spirits exactly when I find them? They'll like collect them. As yeah, many they, as they, they, they want them. They want all of them. Interesting. Okay. That seems like an okay thing to do. Okay. Uh, I, I think I'm just like, I'll sh yeah, I'll tell them I'll be right on it. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So you're honoring this debt and uh, going to take this, take this, uh, take this job on. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Katie just nods and like turns and leaves. Um, tell Ryan he's a dick. She leaves. <laughs> <laughs> awesome um so we fade on that um peaches uh what do you think you're doing this time of night uh, it's around seven eight ish yeah kind of like getting into the evening um i don't think peaches has many hobbies probably just sitting staring into blank space <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> not much else to do at this point. Sure. Um, so, uh, where are you staring into blank space at? I'm, I'm, I'm in my warehouse. You know, okay. there's a, there's a odd little stain in the corner, and I don't know where it came from. So I'm just kind of looking at it. <laughs> um. Yeah. So we just see peaches, like, uh, like sitting on like, uh, like a pallet or something, um, just staring at this stain on the wall. Um, and I think, like, the, uh, the shot, like, holds on that for, like, a little too long to, like, make it a little weird and creepy. Uh, with just, like, 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 sound, like, no music or sound or anything, but it's just, like, like, that, like, that, like, uh, kind of, like, ringing sound to show just, like, something very stagnant is happening. And it's just Pete just staring at the stain for a while. And then it's broken by, um, uh, you hear, um. This is so boring. I I am definitely startled, and I uh, guess I try to turn around. It's uh, it's rat. The voice comes from uh inside your stomach. Darn that freaking rat! Okay. <laughs> um, I guess I lift up my shirt, uh, shirt, trying to look at my own. Well, what's <laughs> your, your own, own your own hole? so it's like yeah so you lift the shirt and we see this like like kind of sealed kind of not sealed like hole like in like the torso here uh and rat just like pokes his head out and just like looks up and like is doing like a little, little rat thing and then um and then like uh when rat talks rat actually like uses his mouth and so uh just like he does a little like rat thing with his nose and then looks back up and says why are we just sitting here? I I think Peaches at this point would do the thing where like kids don't understand what they do, and just <laughs> just doesn't really like understand what's going on. Just kind of looks at you like I don't I don't know what is going on. <laughs> Rat like tilts his, tilts his head and tilts it again, like I didn't bring you back to sit and stare at stains on the wall. Ah, sorry. Uh, gets up off the crate and then like turns onto the opposite side of the wall and like picks up like a scrubber he had like near the wall and try to go back to the stain to clean it up. Probably. <laughs> it's like, uh... <laughs> um, <laughs> and then you're like scrubbing, uh, <laughs> and um. Get the so I can get the right name. One second. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Where'd that go? Okay. Um. Uh. So you're like so you're like scrubbing the stain, uh, and Rat gives this big sigh, and then um, 
you hear like a knock on the warehouse like the like there's like the big door and then there's like the door for people to enter and you, it's like on the, the people door mm-hmm. it's just like a very mm-hmm. like straightforward solid like knock um they did it like a few times mm-hmm. uh peaches is still kind of kid and he wasn't he's not supposed to open doors that he doesn't know <laughs> so i'll say peaches goes to the door it kind of puts his ear against it but he doesn't open it <laughs> you like knock again like with your ear against the door it's like a little like louder and you feel it um and then you hear uh hey peaches it's it's me and then this is uh officer joe uh, i i guess i cracked the door open for officer joe like you know, like leaves his head in like a smile um did you have any idea what uh, officer joe looked like or um shall we just kind of make it up now uh i uh, he has a pot belly uh broom style kind of beard it's not the same color as the hair that's on his head because he probably wears a toupee i'm pretty sure i saw him bald before and all of a sudden he has hair (laughs) but anyways it's not the same color as what's on his hair or the eyebrows in fact his eyebrows are a different color than what his mustache is so the mustache itself may be fake too i'll Um, I'll point out there is an actual thing where you can have different colored hair and eyebrows and beard all naturally like i let let's say let's say that like his eyebrows are like purple or like something like that something outrageous and you know for a fact that's not his beard he just wants to look cool but (laughs) anyways uh he he's a very nice guy despite his purple eyebrows and his uh, broom style mustache got it um yeah so really like the door creaks open he like pokes his head in like uh eyes kind of like light up let him gives a smile like hey kid uh, how's, how, how are things? Uh, there have been some weird things happening in here. Oh, yeah? Yes. I have not moved from my spot in, like, four hours, and there was suddenly a stain on the wall. I don't have a lot of experience with... I, I don't know, I'm not sure if this is okay to say, but... but dead things is that is that is that is that normal for you to just sit there staring at something there's not much else to do okay uh and he looks like <laughs> like, he, like he wants to help but he's just so out of his element with all of this i so, feel like peaches is not helping and probably hasn't blinked for a while it's just absolutely like... <laughs> So he just like kind of looks like, uh, are you hung? Do you eat? Uh, do you what? I mean, I can put things in my mouth, but the rat actually complains when stuff falls on it. You're living with rats. Uh, we, we can, we 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 can, we can. You don't have to. You don't have to stay in this warehouse. I mean, the rat I kind of can't get rid of. In fact, kind of lifts up the like shirt just a tad bit. You see like a tail coming out of this belly button. And he like, like, like he sees the hole with a rat in it, just like looking, and then like po- pokes his head up, and then he like, <clears throat> oh, oh, sure. <laughs> like rat just like looks up out of the hole at you and it just shakes his head and then it's like turns around and moves moves more into the hole. Uh, Pretty much. And then like uh Joe just like <clears throat> Okay. Uh well are you bored just sitting in here saying anything or I was about to go check some stuff out. Maybe you wanna come hang out, do something. Not stand at a wall and sit at it, stare at it for hours. You know. Is that not normal? Not, 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 not for people I know. At least people that are uh, that don't don't have, don't have, don't have holes in their stomach. Who do you know? Lots of people. Come on, uh, come on. Here, I'll, 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 well, I'll, I'll, I got, I got, a, I got, a, I got a patrol. I got to do. Got to go check out some, some, some kids are doing something at a graveyard. Uh, you come check it out. It'll be great. You'll have, you'll have tons of fun. I've been to a graveyard before. 
and he like he like he like like he like there's a couple of steps where he like hears that nods processes what you mean looks up and looks back down and like oh, great I, and he just turns and like kind of like motions kind of just expecting you to follow because he doesn't know what to do okay no, he, he just follows okay <laughs> out of curiosity about how old is peaches um i'll say about like eight or nine okay that's what i was getting the impression of <laughs> okay so yeah you get in the car um it's one of the like um the cop cars that don't look like cop cars like it looks okay. like a normal car but you can like still turn on the lights and stuff um uh Am yeah. I in the front or the back? Because I'm pretty sure uh, the he, front seat. He just got into the front seat, so you need to let you get in whatever seat you want, you want to get in. I feel like I should be in the back because I'm still a kid, so okay. I'm going to get back. Okay. <laughs> got it. Yeah, so you get in, and you're like, okay, uh, put your seat belt on. All right, puts the seat belt on. Okay, great. Okay, head now. And he, like, gets in drive and starts driving away. <laughs> oh, man. I feel really bad for this cop. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's trying his best, you know? He's, he's, got, he's got stuff going on. He's got this kid he kind of has to take care of. It's dead, but not really dead, you know. He's yeah. not prepared for this. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> I don't think Peaches is helping, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we are going to move on to, um, so we see uh, the car kind of driving away. Uh, the camera moves up. And uh, Lionel, what are you doing at uh, kind of the, the early evening? Early evening. Uh, I think I'm at home. Uh, yeah. I've got like a very expensive uh, apartment. Like, I'm thinking, well, the like, like a twentieth floor skyrise kind of thing. Big floor to ceiling glass windows, kind of like modern architecture. Cool. And he's sitting there with like a glass of nice brandy or something, uh -huh. and looking at a huge, like grimoire or something like <laughs> and i think he's got his phone like out on his desk and he's like i, I think i'm gonna call isabel actually probably on, on like speakerphone okay he's like yeah call isabel and then the phone dials and... mm -hmm. uh, the phone rings uh you hear like car, like the i uh you hear like mm -hmm. the sound of cars and air horns and stuff this is Isabel. Hi, Isabel. Isabel. This is Lionel. Um, Great to hear from you. What can I do you for? Do you know why there is a inhuman skull in the basement of the museum right now? Not presently, no. Mm -hmm. Do you? Uh belongs to some Astaroth the Devourer. Just moved it into town this afternoon. Really? You haven't heard of that? I can't say that I have. Although, mm -hmm. it seems like a lot of things are moving into town recently. Oh? Oh, there's just a... I think he might be a wizard of some kind. Uh, I'm, I'm looking into him, and there's a a lot of ghosts mm -hmm. corporate on it. Uh, if you'd like to come help or procure anything they might have, uh, that would be appreciated. Oh, is there something you need? Well, I'm I'm currently on my way out, and I thought you might want to tag along, see if there's anything you might want to procure from them. Uh, I'm sure this wizard, if he ends up being one, would also have some interesting items on his person. Mm -hmm. That's later, though. Mm -hmm. I mean... If he's looking to make a sale, I'd certainly be interested, but... I'm I'm simply... I'm doing a corporate thing, and then I'm going to talk mm -hmm. to them, or at least try and find them, so... Actually, mm -hmm. do you still have that, uh... Do you still have that map 
that you bought like a few years back. Mm -hmm. I've got a, a collection of maps. Which one is it you're looking for? Uh, it's just, I thought it might... Mm -hmm. uh, Ley lines, spirit roads, fairy Ley circles. Ley lines. Ley lines. Mm. I was wondering if you might mm -hmm. bring that. Uh, meet me, I, I, I give an address, probably wherever, like close to where the ghosts are, but not necessarily like on top of it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just like, meet me here and bring the map. I was about to turn in for the evening. Well... I'm sure I'll make it worth your while. Mm -hmm. Are you calling in a debt? <laughs> oh, oh, you want this done so? Uh, let's 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 see let's see first. Let's mm -hmm. see first. Um, speaking speaking of debts, I am also attempting to do you a favor by informing you that there's a new demon moving into town. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. I see. So if that sounds like a favor to you, that would um, mean you owe me a debt. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. I will give you a debt. That's that's fair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. I, however, am. There's no like. I can't just try and persuade you, can I? There's nothing like that. You can persuade me, and if you cash in a debt, you get plus three on the roll. <laughs> oh. It just. I just need to persuade an NPC. Um. Oh yeah, I guess that's just an NPC. For you, a PC, you can you can cash in the debt to have me do you a favor. You can still persuade and, uh, PCs. Um. Mm -hmm. Let's see. There was. Uh, was there? Or was there was, uh, I mean, I don't I don't think you need to roll to persuade. If you were ask. Oh yeah, yeah. If so you cash yeah. in a debt, I, I have to refuse the debt to yeah, not. I, know, I was trying to convince yeah. you to do it without cashing the debt so mm -hmm. early. What um, <laughs> debts are for? Come on. All right, all right. Well, you've got four, four of them on him. I have four of you. I will cash it in. I'm like, fine. Mm -hmm. If you would, if you would do this for me, I would take it as a personal favor. I'm sure you remind. I may I remind you that you owe me several, so we'll we'll forget about mm -hmm. one of them. I suppose if I must. Mm -hmm. Lovely. See you there. Hang right. up. Cool. Um. So you're gonna have uh, Lionel meet you at the. Uh... The, yeah, uh, like across the street from wherever the ghosts happen to be. Okay. Hopefully bringing some ma map of ley lines and stuff where we might be able to mm -hmm. see little wizards hang out. Got it. Cool. Um, yeah, so then we mm -hmm. uh, we cut from Lionel, and then we come in on, um, mm -hmm. uh, like, the camera just starts in the graveyard, and we just like the camera just slowly moves on and like we see all these graves and then it kind of moves and we see the name um oakland cemetery mm -hmm. uh i have here i'll shift ping to bring everybody up yep, 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 yep. there we go i'll shift ping and bring everybody over to it on the map um and uh so kind of like uh near the entrance like where this big sign is we see uh the car where uh with uh joe and peaches uh, pull up and um, uh, let's see Isabel would you, um, you headed right there after work right or after you left the office oh me I'm sorry yeah you, you, were, you were heading uh, right there after the yeah after you left I the was office, right? I was heading pretty much directly afterwards okay I, got I'm it so yeah yeah, yeah. For a moment. I'm sorry no you're fine um yeah, so I think you two probably get there either close to or near the same time. Um, uh, do you have a car or how do you, um, Isabel? Oh, I have a motorcycle. Oh, you have a motorcycle. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, like, I, I'm on it in, like, not, like, high, high heels, but, like, high heeled boots. Mm -hmm. Like, the boots go up to, like, almost my knees. I'm in, like, a leather jacket, like, with, like, a nice collar, like, a nice, um, nice sweater with a high collar, all of it. Again, cool. fashion magazine. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, so uh I think like Joe like gets out and like like lets uh opens the door for Peaches as you uh kinda like, pull up um in that same part near the entrance. Um Joe like like opens the door for Peaches and like when it looks over, um just like like just like glances glances to the motorcycle and then glances back at Peaches and um like now you just uh 
Got a few calls about some kids messing around in the graveyard, so we're just gonna check it out. It's gonna be fine. I'll be here for you. It's great. Uh, see some, see some, see some action. You know, see some police action. It's gonna be fun, right? Just, just nods. Great. Awesome. How how close am I to this? Out of curiosity. Um. I guess you can say, but I would say like like there's like like a like a little like parking lot and then like the entrance, so you'd probably be like close enough to see them, and then if you want to be close enough to hear them, that's like yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I think I, I might pull up like across the street, like in front of them, so they have to pass me to walk to the cemetery. Sure. Um, so I think I just like very shy, like not shyly, shyly is the completely wrong word, but very like, <laughs> coyly, like smile at Peaches. I'm like, hi, kid. Oh. Uh, uh, how's your supervisor doing? Uh, I don't think Peaches would really know how to respond, but probably would, like, <laughs> give, like, the childish wave, like, just be, like, anyways, and just walk by. <laughs> yeah, I uh, Isabel helped Peaches, like, out of the grave and kind of get back into uh, the swing of things, right? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> like, <laughs> first person he saw when getting out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, greeted Peaches with some cocoa out of the grave, yep. so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, in my book, Isabel is, like, the cocoa woman. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, so, like, Isabel says that, and then Joe, like, looks, and, like, leans down, and I'm like, do you, do you, do you know her? She is way out of your league. <laughs> no, no, I, that's not, what? <laughs> like, what did you mean? You know, like it's a little red. And like that's not that's not that's not what I meant at all. I was like you're you're, you're I, you she like she knows you like she did she know you then or does she, does she know you now? Am I not like I was then as I am now? Uh, part, kind of, kind of, in a, in in some ways, in other ways not. How right? how much how much of this am I hearing? Probably like if you like start walking towards you can you can hear this yeah. like like because he's like starting to get a little exasperated like I I, I, I just I just chime in I'm a demon honey ignore her I just walk by what what excuse did she say she just say she was a demon with Coco she's a Coco demon exactly I didn't. Like he pulls out his cop notepad, like Coco Demons. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a list to Google later. <laughs> like Coco Demons. Like okay, okay, Coco Demons. Okay. Similar to a Capra Demon, but more chocolatey. I feel like after this game ends, or after this guy dies, and he just published just that notepad. <laughs> <laughs> The memoirs of a very confused cop. <laughs> so, question: uh, When, how, how, and when does uh, does Lionel show up, mm -hmm. and in what mode of transportation? I'm curious. Oh, Lionel has like a nice car, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. something you... respectable. Like I don't know, English Rolls respectable Royce or American or... respectable? Those are two the English things. respectable, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> Okay, so m more like a Bentley. Got it. Yeah, it's awesome. respectable, not expensive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, sure. I think maybe like I, you're super rich. I assume you at least go for the car. Oh, it definitely is expensive, but there's <laughs> more to having class than just right. Being of course, expensive. of course. Uh, got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So you called him kind of as you're heading over. So um. Uh. Mm -hmm. So uh, Joe and Peaches are probably like, like walking in now, and Lionel's like pulling up um, in his Bentley, mm -hmm. uh, like kind of to, to the parking lot there. Um, yeah. As the the three of you are kind of in the graveyard now, mm -hmm. um, and so you can like come, you can, uh, do, um, yeah. I guess I think Lionel like you get to the I think Lionel like looks after that, uh, looks suspiciously at this group. There's like Isabel and a kid and a cop at a graveyard. <laughs> Can he oh, just see yeah. Lionel? Probably, yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, there's like the, the great the, the the parking lot's lit, so like yeah, you like see another mm -hmm. car pull up and um. So, I'm, I'm not being sneaky or anything. Yeah, I think Lionel should be dubbed the Candyman because that's what he is. He's the Candyman now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you you paid you paid you paid me in candy. 
Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah, for the weird, mm -hmm. the, like the theft you had peaches do. <laughs> yep. <laughs> mm. Great. Um, yeah, so three of you are coming in, and uh, you see Lionel, like, coming up to the entrance there. Um, I think Joe mm. is, like, standing, like, he, like, he, like, stands up, like, he, like, gets in front and, like, turns around, uh, to, like, try and, like, like, say something to Isabel. Um, mm -hmm. it's, like, uh, it just, uh, ma'am, just, just so, uh, can I just ask what you're doing? Um, I just, we, we've had some reports of people messing around in the graveyard recently, so can I just ask what's, uh, ask, ask what's going on here? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm here to help with that. You help? Yes. You a fed? I worked for a little bit higher, higher power there. Sorry. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> he looks at the peach like, you know, some important people. I, I like, I, I literally hand him a business card. I think, like, a, <laughs> like a, like it's a platinum card with like calligraphy. Just add, like, just it's. You can sell this card itself for like actual money <laughs> like the thing's solid metal mm -hmm. <laughs> and like, huh and like puts it in one of his pockets and then you see like lionel coming up like ah. and he looks still he looks at us about like is he with you or is he not with oh, us he's he's in the he's my consultant i walk through the gate mm -hmm. oh <laughs> all right all mm -hmm. right Okay. Evening, okay. officer, and like follow his Sir? Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> looks at Peaches and then looks up to the two of them, and like, uh, okay, so they're not dating. That's true. <laughs> okay, so uh, and like pulls his notebook out again, like, flips back to the pages where he wrote down what he was supposed to be doing, like, ah, uh, so, yeah, we've had some reports of kids, uh, coming around here, uh, acting, they got, like, like, tools and stuff, the reports didn't say what it was, but, uh, you know, a bunch of kids hanging around a graveyard with tools, probably not a and good idea. Any, uh, hmm. unusual lights, things moving on their own, along those lines? Uh, it's not on the report, but, I, I, probably not probably not out of the ordinary no kids messing around mm, kids yeah yeah a wild little bunch yeah i know uh i i think i'd just like to scope out the area sure uh with, uh, with lionel completely ignoring mm. the cop <laughs> cool sure um mm -hmm. so you see yeah it's like a it's a pretty big graveyard um like it's like like it's expensive like it's, it's very like organized there's like lanes and uh, everything um would this trigger investigate a place of power uh yes presumably um so yes uh the faction that owns it would be knight we've got Ooh, that goody. map of ley lines oh goody knight Ugh. i don't like getting involved with those guys same <laughs> uh, creepy uh all right they're would mostly you, just monsters would you like to help Sure. Um, lend a hand or get in the way. Sounds good. Uh, All right. Oh, it's after the roll. That's true. All right. So. So why don't you roll, and I'll see if what? I have to get involved. Not even a. You don't know. Oh wow. They don't like me being mm -hmm. here. Not. No. No. Mm hmm. Okay. So. Um. I just like step on some graves walking through. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so you and Lionel are just kind of like walking around, and you're like walking through the lanes, uh, like not not caring, just stepping on stuff. Um, um, mm -hmm. And I think what's going to happen is uh, you're walking, and so like, there's like a, like a big tree, like a, like kind of like a big oak tree or whatever, kind of like in the, the, like a, like in like in between a couple lanes. Um, and you're walking past, and you're just like kind of like staring at these graves, like looking at the, like like looking at the name and trying to put together put like piece it together, like maybe like something to do with like this area or whatever. Kind of using mm -hmm. your de your weird demon senses to try and see if you get anything. Um, 
and uh, suddenly someone comes from comes from, uh, from like whipping around the tree, um, and a shovel comes like right up to, in your face and like slams into your face. Uh, Appropriate, got it. So uh, take, let's see. Uh, let's let's have you take uh, one harm from a sh from the from like just shovel to the this face. It's not the situation I bargained for. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's like uh, you like take a shovel to the face. Um, it's not like terribly bad. It's just like a quick sure. like smack. Um, and so Immediate yeah, the, uh, assuming of demon form. By the way. Oh great. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, like the so... uh, Joe and Peaches and Lionel are kind of like hanging back a little bit. And yeah, you just see uh, someone come from behind this tree. Isabel gets smacked in the face with a shovel, uh, and this person is just like has this shovel and is wielding it, and is like kind of swinging madly. Um, Look, mind like, if I roll for demon form real quick? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Cool. Yeah, uh, like uh, it looks like the hit kind of just happened to hit Isabel. It's not like they were like aiming very well. It was just swinging it around, uh, and just one of them just like kind of. Hit the side of her open, head. Let me open this real quick. I have to remember the <laughs> options to get her. Okay, so uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to gain an armor. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend a corruption. Great. To... Oh yeah, I'm I'm what? going to take a corruption just just cause because corruption's awesome. <laughs> um, and I'm going to have uh, demonic, demonic weapons, three harm, uh, close hand. Got it. So I so how because it's the first time we've seen it. I think it like makes contact. I like spin around, and by the time I'm like back facing whoever hit me with the thing, I'm like the glasses have, like fell on impact. My eyes are just these glassy, smoky orbs, mm -hmm. and you see like my hair start like shaking, and it just turns into like this like like black mist, and I start floating, and the, the whole skin thing happens again, and like a smoke starts pouring out or like off my body, um. And, like, my hands just turn to these, like, giant talons. So I'm just, like, this, like, floating woman with, like, smoke pouring off. Kind of, like, making this wing shape. Like, it's mm -hmm. just, yeah. Awesome. I'm just like, <laughs> you've messed with the wrong lady, hon. Lionel's, like, puts his hand on Officer Joe's shoulder. He's, like, just backing up. Back up. Yep. What? No. What? what, what she just... But, She's fine. Just back away. No, she. Uh, is that what cocoa demons look like? <laughs> we can explain later. Right now, backing up. <laughs> so, so spun around. What hit me exactly? So it's this. Uh, like this. Uh, now that you're getting like, like a good a good look of him, um, it's this guy. Like he's got like dark clothes on, like a black hoodie, like a um, uh, like a like a like a cap, uh. Like a knit cap, kind of like like over his ears, like a it's like a uh, black cap, like kind of dark jeans. Um, clearly not dressed for like like uh, like good le good good goodly legal activities. Probably messing around, doing something bad. Also, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm also on the job, so I order. I also mark an additional one. I'm oh, got it. Heal that harm I just took. Okay, cool, nice. Um, so just about how Robin is normally. <laughs> um. Yeah, like he's clearly he like he like like he's like got like all this dark clothing on. Um, he's got a shovel. Um, as he's like swinging, you see like dirt kind of flinging off of it. Uh, and his eyes are like back in his like 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 they're like up and like back in his head. Like you, only see, you only see like white of his eyes and like kind of like red, uh, like blood vessel things like kind of like because his eyes are like strained going back into his head. Sure. Um, and yeah, he just this just shovel is just swinging wildly in front of him. Uh, you said he came out from behind a tree, right? Yeah, yeah. There's this like kind of a big, thick oak tree next to the. I just want to knock the shovel out of his hand and like I, I'm, I, I technically didn't take the flying one, but I picture I sort of hover. Mm -hmm. if that's okay. Yeah, sure. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I can't like do. If I took the other one, I'd be actual fly, fly. But uh, I think I just knock the shovel out of his hand with like an arm, grab him by the throat, and slam him into the tree. Like, will in like okay. one swift like it essentially looks like I fly tackle him, except I like swoop. Yeah, yeah, swoop, yeah. Pin into the tree. Cool. Uh, sounds like you are unleashing on him. Yeah, that's that's about right. Alrighty, roll with your blood. Mm -hmm. 
Succeed partially. Cool. So uh, you inflict harm as established. Um, so uh, how much harm does your, like... Uh, oh, uh, so I'm... <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I might accidentally kill him. Uh, I, it, it does, like, three harm. Oh, uh, actually, let's choose two. We'll, we'll choose the two option instead of the three. Okay. Actually, this guy looks like a normal guy, so let's okay. maybe not just rip off his head accidentally. Got it. Okay. Um, <laughs> cool. So uh, well, choose can one. You, oh. Can you choose to do less harm? Like, I if you've got know. big talents, you don't have to, like, impale him. Uh, you could just, like, grab a hold of him or punch yeah, him. Yeah, to a degree there. you like, can. Um, Essentially, I don't want to. I don't necessarily want to. I would like to do a harm to him and just pin him to the tree. Is my mm -hmm. ideal situation. Um, however much of that works, you tell me. Uh, so let's see. So, what was the choice again? You pick. Uh, you can do. You can do two harm. Or you can do three harm. Uh, it's yeah, it's either uh demonic weapon, uh, three harm hand or two harm close. I think instead of like talon like no it's still talons but it's just like they're longer than like, it's just not sharp i guess i don't know it doesn't really matter i just don't want to murder him on accident okay um yeah so i think with uh yeah i think the the, the two harm is fine it, the two, two harm won't kill him um yep. it'll it's it'll be damaging to him but it won't yeah um so you like shove him into this tree uh so with for with the uh so with unleash you uh, inflict harm as established and choose one. Inflict terrible harm or uh, and take something from them. Uh, those those are the only two options. Yep. Yeah. You choose uh, one from those two. Ooh. Uh, so uh, you could uh, can... you could uh, take like remove it like, remove, remove the shovel from him. Can I remove his like? Can can I actually make it so he can't move? Like, can I actually just want to pin him to the tree? Oh yeah. Hold you the can, shovel you as much as it, you want. Yeah. Take oh, it, take, take, take his movement. movement. Yeah. Sure. And then uh, on a seven to nine, choose one from below as well. They inflict harm on you. You find yourself in a bad spot. Uh, they can inflict another harm on me. Okay. If the, I have an armor. So yeah, yeah. Good. So I think he like like takes another wild swing as you're moving in and just like. I think it literally swipes through me. Yeah, like, it just, just it just hits a, like part of the part of this weird smoke, and uh, just he swings and so he's like off balance and you just shove him into this tree, um, and you hear like cracks. As his like spine hits the tree, um, uh, and yeah, so like your your hand is just like pinning him there, um, and he's like trying to move his arms wildly, but like he kind of can't, so because your hand is just there, and so he's like just his his like oh. all of his limbs are just like swinging, like he's just trying to do something. Um, so I I get like super super close in on him, like so why are you here, darling? Like, like I like staring into blank, blank, smoky eyes, staring into no eyes. Like, uh -huh. looks like I could kiss him. Just, what is, what is he doing? Uh, so his eyes are still back, and you still see like the weird whites of his eyes, and they are, um, and he just like gives like a weird like gurgling noise, just like, <laughs> um, that's sweet. And then, uh. As you, like, do that and you're leaned in, uh, Peaches, um, we are where you and Lionel and Officer Joe are, uh, you hear, like, the snapping of a twig nearby. Um, and on that, like, like the camera goes back to you guys and you hear just, like, the <laughs> from, like, behind you. Um, and before you can, like, move or do anything, uh, we're going to go to our, uh, first break. Because I really could be going for two hours. We haven't taken a break yet. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> Whoopsies. Uh, but yeah, we're going to take a quick break for now. Um, just about five minutes or so. Uh, go to the bathroom, get some water, do what you need to do. And we'll be back for some more of Play to Find Out the Perimeter, our premiere episode of Urban Shadows. See you in a bit. Do you mind if we run that for right. 10 minutes? Huh? Do you mind if we run that for 10 minutes? Oh, yeah, sure. We can take a, we can take a longer one since we didn't take a hourly one but yeah so uh, a little bit longer than like a our usually it'll be hourly in like five minutes or so but we'll take a little bit longer one so yeah see you in a little bit enjoy the awesome music for, uh courtesy of monster cat